guys this is Kenny the Messy Sober and today I am not doing a soul making video but I wanted to come to you all and say Merry Christmas yes this is the day after Christmas but I still want to come to you all and hope that you all had a fantabulous Christmas with your family and what I decided to do in this video is show you guys the cool stuff I got for my soaping business and my other cool gifts okay Lent <laughs> my other cool gifts that I got so that's the reason why I'm kind of festive even though it is the day after Christmas but whatever so um this is kind of like a Christmas haul and um I think I, would, I thought I was going to do a separate video but I'm not making soap um I won't be making soap till after the first of the year I haven't made soap in about I want to say two weeks now so, um, I think I'm going to take this opportunity to talk to you guys about something, uh, pretty much what do you want from me. But before we get to that, I'm going to show you what I got for Christmas. So, what Gaby bought me, um, I'm going to start with the soap stuff first. So, he got me spatulas. You see those? I love these spatulas and that pretty design. Can you see the pretty design over there? And um, you could just never have enough spatulas and these are really, really nice nice sturdy wood handles too so he got me these and i just like fell in love because i love myself some spatulas and then he got me a bunch of colorants some micas so i got this one here the pretty yellow and then i got some green hopefully you can see that and i got some blue yeah okay and then i got some pink okay and I got some teal. Just waiting to this camera to kind of focus. And I got this really cool one here. And then this one here. And this one, which I love because it's so bright and fun. And I also got a little sample of some gator here. Which um let's see if I can open. Oh, it's just it's beauteous. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that so um can you see that yeah cool so yeah um that is what i got from gabe okay glitter everywhere and also um he got me because my chair in here was just like the world's suckiest chair i have like two big office chairs but they don't fit in here and they just take up far too much room and i need something or kicking stuff that i could roll around really i'm like rolling away but i could roll around pretty easily so I asked Gabe to get me a chair and he did and I love this chair so um, I'm gonna show you that in the end when I get my big cut brought up also okay so a lot of my customers I do listen to you all especially when it comes to what you want so a lot of my customers have been saying whether it be you all or uh, customers that find my shops or even at craft fairs you know can you make your bar smaller and my mindset was always, you know, get more for your money, but you know, customers want smaller bars. So I got another tall skinny mole. I am so happy. I've been wanting another tall skinny mole for the longest and I was just too lazy to get and buy it and cheap too. So he got it for me, but this is just like my other one. Oh yeah. There's something in here. She sent me a little sample. Let's see what was in here. What is this? Oh, yeah, she gave me a pretty rose, a um, uh, red mica. And then she gave two little embeds here. How cute are those? So, yeah, and this, I, I'm a, oh, that's pretty. I didn't even know that was two-tone. Check that out. But, yeah, um, I'm assuming these are made out of that mica. So, um, also, the coolest thing ever Gabe got me, I'm going to try to, because even though the top half of me is like Christmas and festive, <laughs> the bottom's not. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> he got me this for craft fairs because the one thing you need most definitely, what do I keep knocking into? The one thing you need most definitely at a craft fair is a dolly. And you want one, like, if you don't have a truck, we don't have a truck. We're getting a truck, but we don't have a truck right now. So, we want a dolly that was just like portable and very easy. So, he got me this dolly here which is really really cool because it has the wheels that pop out here 
as you can see i'm not gonna undo the whole thing and then the front of it goes down um yeah he did that <laughs> he uh worked this out for me before i've not touched it since he gave it to me but you push this little button and the handle extends so it's super cool and it holds up to i think it said 400 pounds it's two or 400 pounds so um yeah i'm really excited to have this because it's going to help out tremendously at my craft fairs guys i'm telling you the struggle is real when you have a beetle and you try to stuff all that stuff into a beetle but anywho so um yeah i got that and let's talk about some non-soap items that i got um it's like super cool because some of you may know a lot of you may not know but i am like the biggest harry potter geek there is it's just Nope, I'm not embarrassed, not even a little bit. So, um, I really wanted uh, this scarf. And it was so funny because Gabe, he's like the master at tricking you. So, he kept going on this website. He kept saying, wow, honey, they're sold out. They're sold out. And I'm just like, oh, bummer, man. So, he actually got me this scarf. And if any of you who are Harry Potter fans, oops, let me turn that around. Um, this is actually the Marauders map. I thought it was like the coolest concept. So the entire scarf is the Marauders map. And I think it is just like fably ably. So much so that I'm going to put this on, on top of my scarf I already got on. I already wore it. I love this scarf. Mm, it smells good too. It must have been me. <laughs> so yeah, see that? It's Harry Potter. But, um, he also got me. It was something I really, really wanted. And I had talked about it for quite some time for like maybe, I don't know, maybe like six months or something. I was just like, I really, really want this thing. It's like super cool. Okay, so I drink coffee every morning. And they had a Harry Potter mug. I'm sure you, some of you have already saw it. But um, it's a color changing mug. So this is the Marauder's Matte Mug. And no, this video is not sponsored. This is just me geeking out. Bear with me here. But, um, this is Marauder's Matte Mug. And when you put hot, uh, liquids in it, it actually turns a lighter color. And little feet print, as if it's on the map, they're walking around the map, they actually appear. So, I just love this. And it is filled with some ice cold coffee. Mmm. Ugh, that's not good at all. But, it, ugh. Bad idea. But, anyway. So, that's what Gabe got me. And I'm going to show you the chair. Hold up. Let me get my buns out of this chair and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. This is a chair that I got. It is super cute and pink and comfy and all that fun stuff. Um, I told Gabe I wanted a new chair, and he did get me one because my other one sucked so bad. The thing would barely roll, and I went caught up on everything. And if you see the mess around here, please excuse because um, you're going to see a video call clean up that mess. And um, I'm in the middle of actually... No, I'm not supposed to show you yet. But I'm in the middle of <laughs> redoing my soap room. But anywho, that's not about what we're talking about. So yeah, this is my little chair. And it's small enough to fit in my room perfectly. And I can roll around in it easily without tripping all over everything. So yeah, that's it. For that. So, um, let me see. Yeah, I think I got everything that he gave me. A hunter, she got me a lot of... Oh, you guys are like Telta. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> uh, she got me a lot of makeup stuff because I love myself some makeup but um, it was just like we've been using it and it's all over everywhere so yeah that's why you don't see it let me tell you this way mm -hmm. so my mumsy what she got me and I start okay my camera angles are just kind of off a little bit I think can y'all see me okay I think you can see me just fine it's just me but anywho my mumsy she got me um, some boots and I was gonna do it in my shoe haul I am gonna do a shoe haul on my second channel because I've collected a lot of shoes and I have not done a haul so yeah let's get that but I'm gonna show you anyway and you will still see it in the haul on my other channel so she got me these little cuties because she knows that I love anything black I love anything that's military type anything that's biker buckles zippers all that stuff lives it and it's so cool because they go up higher in the front I do love these boots. So she got me these and she wants a pair and she couldn't find any in her size. Sorry, mom. <laughs> so also she got me. I'm going to take my Harry Potter scarf off before I pass out because it's really hot. Um, this cutie. And you guys like my turban, right? Because I told you I was wearing um, this color for the Christmas holiday, even though Christmas was yesterday. But let's just pretend it's today. You get to spend Christmas with me or fake Christmas with me. So... Uh, 
I'm also a huge fan of hats. I love knits. I love scarves. I love sweaters. Anything that's chunky and knitty and all that. My bag. So she knows that I like this kind of stuff. And this is not going to fit properly because of my tobin. But I give you an idea of how it looks. So <laughs> I just love this thing. It's so cute. So if you see me looking away, it's because I'm looking in the mirror behind y'all. So you could actually wear it like this, or I'm hoping to go. I don't get makeup on it. Or you can wear it like this. So I'm going to turn to the side. You can see my little pom-pom back there. I love it, Mom. Thank you so much. Oh, I love this. I'm going to have it. Because, you know, even like I've been wearing turbans a lot, and I love my turbans, and I'll probably wear them the whole winter just because, A, they're so convenient, B, they're stylish and C keeps my hair out of this harsh winter although today is not harsh at all it's December 26th it is actually 57 degrees outside although raining but can't complain and um she got me that one but yeah with my turban like my hood doesn't fit on my head and my ears be out my cheeks because <laughs> at my job um and which guys I didn't tell you I'm off for like two weeks well I got one week left I go back after the first but um, yeah, I have to park like way, way, way far away and you gotta walk and the wind's like whipping at your face and cutting up your skin and all that fun stuff. Nobody got time for that. Anyway, so this one I'm not gonna put on because it doesn't fit properly because of my turban, but how cute is that? It goes like that. She got me another little hat. I have one like this in like a peach color and if you have a ponytail, your ponytail can actually hang out the back, but I just thought this was the most darling thing ever. So... That is what I got for Christmas, guys. I hope you guys got some nice goodies. And even if you didn't and you just got to spend time with your family, isn't that good enough? So, um, this is not bragging or anything like that. You guys know I'm not that kind of person at all. I just wanted to share my soapy stuff with you. And since I figured, okay, since I figured that I showed you my soapy, oh, okay, the fuzz, um, my selfie stuff I figured I'd just show you everything I got so now what I want to talk to you guys about listen to me here so what I like to do is um kind of revamp my channel what I've noticed is and hopefully this video is not like too long but what I've noticed is you guys love my soap making videos I appreciate that so much and you guys give me so much love but I do notice that when I make non soap items such as bath bombs and uh, melt and pour and things like that I get way more views so I don't know if it's because it just kind of appeals to everyone like if you're not a cold process salt maker or whatever the case may be so what I want to know from you all is what do you want from me in 2017 what kind of videos do you want to see because I want you guys to be engaged in my videos and um yeah, all through 2016 and really honestly I don't care what people say or think because at the end of the day it's my channel. But you know, you get the few that come in. Oh, your videos are too long. Your videos shouldn't be that long. But you know what? It's my channel. I can make it four, five, six hours long if I chose to. But with that being said, um, because you all tell me you love my long videos. Um I know like some people and I always know, ha <laughs> I know when you skip through my videos because people <laughs> People will ask me a question that I totally answer in that video. Um, like the other day, I had someone ask me, what type of bowl do you use? I'm like, for real. So, <laughs> I don't mind you guys skipping through my videos, whatever. Who cares? I mean, do what you like, as long as you watch. Um, but I do want to, you know, as a YouTuber, you grow every year. The longer you're on YouTube, the better your content gets hopefully anyway and i just want to appeal not only to soap maker cold process soap bakers i want to be able to appeal it to everyone now you guys know that i don't do bath bombs all year long just because that's really not my thing but um if there's a new technique or design or whatever the case may be and also i've been thinking okay so yeah i do have a second channel which i don't do a whole lot with shame shame but i plan to once i move and there's a reason behind that but, um, would you guys like to see, um, stuff that's just, like, 
non-soap related at all on this channel. Not every day, not every week. I'm not going to stop making soap videos, but just randomly throw in a video. Maybe I'm going to do a vlog that day or whatever the case may be. And I'll just throw it in here. Would you guys like something like that? Um, I'm just really wanting to do things that keep you guys coming back and I mean clearly I got a lot of you that come back but I want to welcome more people because the thing about YouTube as well um, we as content creators we make content that we want to be interesting to you we want you guys to hit that thumbs up button because it's very important to us that's what shows us you like the content that we're providing for you all. We like for you guys to leave comments that let us know that you're interested in what we're doing. Um, we like for you guys to subscribe. If you do genuinely like our channel, please do subscribe. And Oh, also, YouTube has come up with this new thing where notifications. Normally, you would go into um, your settings and click notification, but... Um, I think it's like right down here. There's a little bell. So click that bell and that will give you notifications of whenever I post new videos. That way you don't miss out on anything. Um, everyone has to do it now because if you don't, you won't get notifications of when I post new videos. But yeah, I just want to make it more interesting for you all, more entertaining. And yes, the thumbs up and the, the thumbs up and the subscribing and the commenting, even watching the ads the little pop-ups that come down here even watching those really really help out with our channel's growth and helping us to keep providing quality content for you all because guess what um all the stuff that we use is not cheap so <laughs> every little thing that you guys do um just simply the simple things of subscribing thumbs up watching the uh the ads that pop up on these videos, they do help me to purchase more products so I can make more videos. And I would like to make more videos that are of interest to you all. So, um, please do let me know is like some of these ideas that I threw out something you would like to see. Would you like to see some videos that are not soap related at all, but just whatever comes into my head? Um, yeah, I know it sounds like it should be on my second channel, but I'm going to start really working on that second channel again once I move. Hopefully, we'll be all done by March. Who knows? But, um, yeah, until then, I would like to do some different stuff here. Yeah, so just let me know what you want from me, y'all. I need to know what you want, and I am willing to give it to you only if it makes sense. So, guys, um, that is it. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to get out of here because um, I got to finish cleaning up this mess. Yeah. Um, I changed my room around. Do I love it? No. But um, I'm working on it. I just needed more room. So that's why I decided to change it. And I do have more room. I just don't like the layout. But what can you do about that? You know? What can you do? Anywho. Um, <laughs> oh, also before I go. And that was another something I want to talk to you all about. So um, the person that I did the GoFundMe for. I just want to personally thank you all. Every last one of you for pitching in and helping out. And helping to give her family, her children, um, a beautiful Christmas. Um, I mean, you guys did it fast. You guys just kind of blew my mind. You really did. That just shows how awesome our community on YouTube is. I mean, we just get in there and help one another out. And yeah, there was a bunch of, um, well, there was some things that was going back and forth and it had nothing to do with the person that, you know, I did it for. But there was a little bit of craziness going on. And some of you may know what I'm talking about. But you know what? Um, I feel like this. If God has blessed me to be able to bless those in need, then I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it every single time because that's what I feel like I should do. You all have blessed me with so, so much. How could I not? That would just be crazy for me not to do it if I have the ability and the voice and the, the venue to do it, the platform to do it. This is my platform to help others in need, you know, when I can't do it all myself. So, again, thank you all so, 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 so much. I, I just can't even... I really can't even get over how fast you all just came to, you know, the need of someone. I mean, to the rescue of someone in need. So, again, with that being said, I want to ask you this too. Because this is something that I've been really, really wanting to do. And especially since that was so successful. Um, maybe twice a year. 
and I don't know when and who knows how it'll come through but what I would like to do and I hope you all are watching this full video because I think this is something really really cool um for those of you who couldn't donate just your prayers that was good enough you know um but every donation helps whether it be a dollar whether it be a hundred dollars every donation helps so what i would like to do in 2017 is um pick two individuals um and i may not necessarily know them uh, if i hear about someone maybe it just cross my ear that uh somebody's in need someone needs you know something for their children or they've, they've had an emergency or a tragedy or whatever the case may be um how do you guys feel about me doing a gofundme for those in need twice a year i would just like to do it twice a year i'm not trying to turn my channel into a charity channel which although that would be fantabulous but you know i'm a soap maker so that's why i tend to stick to but i would still like to be able to help others in need when you know when they need it so um tell me what you think about that if that's something you guys wouldn't mind helping out on i mean i would really 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 like to do that um because i know someone right now who is really they're great oh my gosh they're a great person they're a fucking fantabulous person and they are always 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 there for others when others need things i mean right off the bat she doesn't even think twice about helping other people and she's been that way all of her life um she's a she's always been the kind of person who opens her home she's she's done foster care for i think like 15 years you know she's had multiple babies and also she's taken on um special need children especially special need children who needed homes while their parents are trying to figure out how to get their lives back in order this woman is absolutely amazing and right now she um she's in need, need of a roof for her house um she really needs she needs a bed and she just doesn't have the funds to be able to do it because she you know she had some financial struggles and health wise and things like that so these are the type of people that i would really 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 like to help out and i need you guys support to help me help them um, so if this is something you all want to do, please let me know. I hope it's something that you would like to help out on, just like you guys gave so freely to this family. And again, like I said, I'm not going to do this on a regular basis, but twice a year. I think it would just help out so much to be able to help someone twice a year. Okay, guys, so I don't want this video to be like crazy, crazy long. And, and I got to get back to cleaning. Anywho, so um, yeah, if you like some of these iron deals that I had, um... And who knows? I'm gonna. I am going to try to challenge myself a little bit more this year in the designs of the soaps that I make, so they're not so, you know, all the same. Yeah, the color schemes change and all that fun stuff. But I would like for my soaps to just be like, "Whoa, dude, how'd you do that?" So I'm. I'm working on stuff like that, and I'm looking like in this mirror, my head kind of looks like a, a pumpkin. Anyway, <laughs> all right, guys. So that's it. Until the next video, I'll see you then. Bye.